Well, Prince Harry kicked off the fourth Invictus Games in Australia this week. It's part of a royal four-nation tour that he's undertaking with his wife, Meghan Markle. CBS News foreign correspondent Jonathan Vigliotti is following the couple's travels. Prince Harry officially kicked off his Invictus Games outside Sydney's iconic opera house. Hello, Sydney. Hello, Australia, and hello, Invictus. In the hours leading up to the ceremony, Kensington Palace tweeted this photo of the prince practicing for an audience of one, his wife, Meghan. Harry created the week-long competition in 2014 to help injured veterans. Earlier, the couple attended a ceremony to unveil a World War I memorial. Today marks day five of a whirlwind 16-day Commonwealth tour of Australia, Fiji, Tonga and New Zealand. And the couple has been welcomed with open arms. From Sydney, where the crowds lined up to congratulate them on the news they're expecting a baby, to the farming community of Dubbo, where their future parenting skills were put to the test. The tour has also become a platform for the couple to use their celebrity to shine a light on causes they care about. Nowhere was that more on display than when they sat barefoot in the sand with a surf group that gathers weekly to discuss their personal struggles. This is meant to be one of the more intimate moments of the trip so far. The royal couple choosing Bondi Beach as the backdrop to discuss mental health, a topic important to both of them. They're royal rock stars, and Meghan, who's on her first overseas tour, is doing exceptionally well, says royal correspondent Roya Nika. I think Harry and Meghan are definitely bringing a new image, um, which we've seen this morning, barefoot, chic on the beach, surfing, mental health, very relaxed. I mean, this is, I suppose, the future of bits of the monarchy, and that's the sort of future freshness that Harry and Meghan are bringing to the firm. This royal family is growing in more ways than one. Jonathan Vigliotti, Sydney, Australia.